Hello, it's Mr. Eason here again with Homework Help. For section 2.3, where, where we are multiplying tens, hundreds, and thousands. It's a very important skill for the rest of our multiplication strategies, so it's important that we get it down pat. The first equation we are trying to solve is 3 times 800, and so we taught the students that they need to just pretend that the zeros aren't there. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and scratch them out. And I need to solve 3 times 8 first. 3 times 8 should be 24. Now since I scratched out two zeros, I need to put two zeros onto the end. So really, 3 times 800 is 2,400. The next one is 4 times 50, and this is, again, kind of tricky, because 4 times 5 ends in a zero, but the first thing we always have to do is scratch out that zero to make it 4 times 5. 4 times 5 is 20. Since we scratched out one zero, we need to put an extra zero on the end to make it 200. Lastly, we'll try 6 times 9,000. Same thing as before, we scratch out the zeros so that they pretend they're not there. We do 6 times 9, which is 54. We put our comma, and since there were three zeros on the end of that, we need to put three zeros onto the end of our answer. So 6 times 9,000 is 54,000. And that's how that strategy works. We just pretend the zeros aren't there, solve the multiplication fact, and put the correct number of zeros onto the end of the answer. So let's look at a couple of problems from the book. So uh, we're going to skip down and look at number nine. I didn't really like the way that the book organized this part, so we didn't really do it in class. Um, so let's look at number nine. It says six times, or I'm sorry, it says seven times six thousand. So once again, we're going to scratch out our zeros here. Do seven times six, which is forty-two. And since there were three zeros, you put three zeros under the end. Number 10 says 4 times 80. So again, we scratch out one zero. 4 times 8 is 32. We put one zero under the end, 320. Number 11 says 6 times 30, so we scratch out a zero. Do 6 times 3, which is 18. Put a zero under the end, 180. Down to number 12, it says 9 times 300. 9 times 3 is 27. There were two zeros there, so I put two zeros onto the end, 2,700. Number 13, again, can be a bit tricky, 5 times 2,000. Scratch out my zeros, 5 times 2 is 10. I need three extra zeros, not three zeros totals, three extra zeros, because I took off three zeros from the original. Then I do number 14, which is 3 times 500. 3 times 5 is 15. Two zeros on the end is 1,500. So that is the strategy, and all of the homework has to do with using that strategy appropriately. So, good luck, and I will see you tomorrow.